My name is Tracy Kronzak. I work for Cloud for Good Consulting and we are a nonprofit implementation partner for the Salesforce community. I have been working there in my capacity as both an implementation consultant and now consultant manager. Prior to then, I worked for a different firm also as a Salesforce consultant, and prior to that, I was a technology manager at a national racial justice nonprofit uh, called the Applied Research Center, now known as Race Forward. So keys to successful adoption in my experience have included things such as, you know, getting user buy-in from the get-go. And, you know, in the hyper corporate world we now call this like scrum agile methodology where the people who are going to be using the tool participate in a series of iterative meetings to develop the tool. Well, you know, that's just a fancy way of saying make sure you include your stakeholders in whatever adoption decision you're making from the get-go. I can't tell you how many client projects I've implemented with Salesforce where the users who are going to be using the system saw it on the day that it was finished. Uh, and that is scary. I think other factors that include, you know, successful user adoption include things like well-established communication channels in the organization itself. Uh, I think it also includes not only setting up a team for the adoption of the new technology and understanding how it used how it's going to be used beforehand, but setting up a team for the maintenance of the technology and the ongoing use of the technology after it's been finished and implemented. The specific example I always give is Salesforce, which is a living, breathing entity. It is not something that you can sort of open up and put information in and have it be a static thing like an Excel sheet or a Word document where I press a button, I put information in, and it goes away. It's something that is meant to represent your organization's hopes and aspirations for your own constituents. And therefore, you know, when you are looking at an organization's data, for example, you're looking at the legacy that has to outlast you. So successful adoption includes being mindful of the fact that you're not going to be there all the time to help run the show and putting the systems into place to produce iterative training, iterative learning, and iterative maintenance of whatever new tool that you are putting into place. And I think what's important to take out of that is that you know, that is a job unto itself that a lot of nonprofits kind of overlook when they start using any kind of technology, be it a blinking lights in a server box or be it something as you know complex as Salesforce can be. So you can't just look at the immediate thing in front of you like you would with a Word or Excel document. You have to look to the future of that technology and how it's going to help you grow your mission and who's going to help you grow your mission with that technology at your own organization.